If you have a degree in biomedical science, you might be asking the question, how much do biomedical scientists actually earn? In this quick video, I'll give you a breakdown of what you can expect to earn as a biomedical scientist in the NHS. Hi, my name is Abdul and I'm a biomedical scientist working for the NHS in cellular pathology. So the way the NHS works out how to pay their staff is that they categorize different job roles into specific bands. And these bands can range from band one all the way up to band nine. And this banding pattern is dictated by a scheme called a Agenda for Change, or AFC for short. So the Agenda for Change is basically a scheme created by the NHS in around 2004. The AFC basically aims to create a fair, transparent and consistent pay framework for all NHS staff. So let's go through all the bandings. Okay, so there's this website I found here that breaks the bandings down pretty well. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to have a look at as well. So it goes through the pay scales for 2023 to 2024. Okay, so the agenda for change starts at band one. There's an asterisk here, uh, basically says, if we scroll down all the way at the bottom, so you can see here it says band one is closed to new entrants. So this is, I think this is before 2018. So you won't be expected to be um, entering the NHS at band one anymore. So we go straight on to band two. You can see that the starting salary is three pounds a year and that's the entry step point. So the type of jobs you could be expected at these band two, three and four levels would be sort of MLA jobs in the lab. So I started at band two in specimen reception. You can also see here in the middle it says years until eligible for pay progression. So there's two years until you can get to the top step point they call it which is the sort of uh, final pay point that you can be expected to earn at these bands. So for a band three, after two years of working at band three, you can earn £24,336. Typical roles at band four would be sort of associate practitioners. And the difference between the two bands would be responsibility and accountability. So for example, a band four is more responsible for higher quality work and is more accountable for any sort of errors that can happen. But for someone that works at band two, they're still expected to work at a higher level, but they won't be held as accountable as someone that works as a band four for any sort of mistakes or, or work that they do. So now we can move on to the higher bands where you get to five, six and seven. So for a biomedical scientist, a fully qualified one, your entry level would be band five. And you can see how much they, they earn here, £28,407. There is also an intermediate step point in between the top step point. So after two years, you can be expected to earn just above £30,000 and two years after that, £34,500 pounds roughly. Band 5 is the sort of start of your journey as a biomedical scientist. Then band 6 is where you become a specialist biomedical scientist and you can see once you're fully qualified as a specialist you can be earning £35,392 starting. Then band 7 roles are sort of the advanced biomedical scientists and again you can compare the intermediate step point to the final step point. So then we can move on to the highest of the AFC bands. You can see there are eight starts from 8A all the way to 9, and 8A is further subdivided into A, B, C, and D. So the sort of roles that you'd expect uh, to be paid band 8 salary would be sort of lab managers, uh, departmental managers, and clinical scientists. At these sort of higher bands, you can see that it takes a lot more years to get to the final step point. So you can see it takes about five years from an 8A entry to the top step point. In my lab, cut-up practitioners are getting band 8A salaries. The sort of people that are on a band 8C salary are sort of consultant BMSs. And these are the highest level of BMS that you can be. So what consultant BMSs can do, they are able to actually diagnose patients and give results. So I found this pretty useful website that, um, again, I'll leave a link to in the description that you can sort of see the breakdown of your salary and how much deductions they'll take and what sort of what you'll be expected to take home at the end of the month. So let's have a play around with it. So you can see if I select band two and I have zero years of experience, 37 and a half hours contract, you can be expected to earn £22,383 a year, which translates to £11.45 uh, per hour. The take home calculations is broken down here. So you, you have to pay income tax, obviously, national insurance. Uh, NHS pension, that's how much they take, £114. I haven't ticked the average unsociable hours because this is dependent on where you work and um, sort of what job roles you do and the, the sort of hours you work. 
Um, so at band two level, you can be expected to earn one thousand five hundred and forty five pounds per month. So band two again is sort of like a healthcare support worker or an MLA. If we select MLA role uh, with no years of experience, just just um, straight up entry level, you can be expected to earn one thousand five hundred and seventy pounds per year. Uh, with two years of experience, that goes up to 1.6k. If you decide to opt out of the NHS pension scheme, you can get 1.7k there. So let's go to a band five level, what you'd be getting as a biomedical scientist entry level at no no years of experience, 37 and a half hours. Obviously, you can adjust this if you're part-time, part-time hours, 37 and a half hours. You're expected to earn £1,852 a month. Again, if you decide to opt out for the NHS pension scheme, that can go up to almost £2,000 a month. So if, you, if you've been working as a band five biomedical scientist for, let's say, four years at 37 and a half uh, hours a week, you can be expected to earn £2,142 a month. Again, if you want to opt out of NHS pension, that goes up to 2.3k. And as a specialist, you know, you can go you can go on and on and have a play around with these figures. So you can see that's what you'll be getting as a band six specialist a month. And as a band seven advanced biomedical scientist, you can get that much a month. Let's say after four years, 2.7K a month. Um, this I should mention also, this doesn't take into account student loans because... Uh, obviously, student loans will be different for everyone. So the figures I've shown you were for staff working in the NHS, not working in or around London. For staff that are working in or around London, they get a bit of a boost. And that is because locations in and around London are sort of higher cost areas. So the boost in pay is to sort of offset the higher cost of living. So there's this other website that I'll, I'll link as well that sort of gives you a breakdown of um, how much you could be earning in London and around London. So you can see there's a significant boost in pay uh, at the band two level from 20, from, sorry, for all the way from 22,383 pounds to 25,540. You can see at the, um, the top it says 20% uplift, 15% uplift and 5% uplift. So this sort of uh, shows you what the 20, 15 and 5% mean. So if you live inside London you get 20% of the basic salary and if you live just outside of London you get 15% and if you live on the fringe of that you get 5% extra so again let's go back to our website here um, as an MLA band 3 MLA you can be expected to enter the the lab at £27,379 if you get registered as a biomedical scientist, you start at band five, you get a boost up to £34,088. That is with the 20% uplift. And again, the final pay point of band five, you can be sort of after a few years be earning 41,496 just as a registered biomedical scientist. If you decide to become a specialist biomedical scientist in your field, you can be entering at 42,469. And then after working for a few years, you can end on £51,140. And band sevens, again, advanced biomedical scientists, their sort of top pay point will be £60,000. And I'll scroll down for you to have a look. You can pause the video at any point to have a look for yourself and also go on the website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So I've just scrolled further down in this website and I found that they give a net pay breakdown. So let's see what a net pay for a band five in London would be. This is a sort of take home monthly pay after all deductions. Uh, this again doesn't take into account student loans, so this will be slightly less. But yeah, feel free to have a go and look at these websites for yourself and play around and sort of get more information on what you can earn as a biomedical scientist. So I should mention that if you work for the NHS as a sort of band five biomedical scientist already, and you decide to work for another organization, that's also part of the NHS, then your years until eligible for pay progression won't be affected. You can still continue that two years until you get to the intermediate step point. And again, similarly from the intermediate to your top, top step point. 
but this only works if you're in the same band. So that's a quick breakdown of what you can expect to be earning as a biomedical scientist. I should mention that there are other pay benefits that you get working for the NHS. For example, annual leave. So all the annual leave is paid and you get 27 days on top of all the public holidays. And the pension scheme is amongst one of the best in the UK. So that's a huge bonus if that's something you're interested in. And you can choose to opt out of the pension scheme if you wanted to and get a little bit on your paycheck at the end of the month. So yeah, like I mentioned before, play around with these websites and see the salary breakdowns. I hope this video made sense. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them. Alternatively, I have a Slack group, which I'll leave a link to join below, which have other students and healthcare professionals that might be able to help you out as well. Thank you for watching and take care.